riding the Gornagrat Railway to see Switzerland's icon, the Matterhorn. Straddling the Swiss-Italian border, the Matterhorn, which means peak in the meadows, draws in about 2 million visitors per year to see this renowned mountain. The majority of visitors marvel at the iconic peak from the idyllic town of Zermatt. From Zermatt, there are three major cable and railways to get up high and view the Matterhorn, additionally to seeing it from the valley town itself. Out of the three transports, Gornergrat Glacier Paradise and Rothorn, the one we recommend going up is the Gornergrat Mountain Railway. From stunning lakeside reflections at Rivvilsi to the mighty Gorner Glacier, in this travel adventure, join us as we take you from Zermatt to the top of Gornergrat. We begin our journey with an early start to catch the very first train before the sun is even up. We're still in the middle of waking up. It's 6.30 in the morning. We're heading straight for the Golden Cots cable car, which is by far one of the most popular cable cars you can ride up from Zermatt. And the first one starts at seven in the morning. Now, of course, as you guys probably already know, Zermatt is a car-free town. So we are just walking in the pitch black. It should only take about 10 minutes from the hotel. We are super excited. The view should be absolutely amazing. The Matterhorn has been on the bucket list forever now. We thought that there would be very few people here because of how early we came. But when we got here, there's already about, what, 10 to 15 people ahead of us. I actually wonder how early they woke up and got here to light up. We got off at the second last stop, Rotenboden, and we we're walking down to see the Rivelsee, which is one of the lakes where you can see Matterhorn in the background. It's actually only a five minute hike down to see the lake. It's a little bit steep, so I'm really watching my footing right now. But sadly, we can't see the Matterhorn yet, so I think we'll be out here for a little while. We woke up at 5.50 in the morning. We catch the first train out here, all to see the majestic Matterhorn. And it's supposed to be right over there. And we can't see it at all. So we honestly might have to wait here for a couple of hours before we actually get to see it. It's a little bit unfortunate. Good thing it's not too, too cold. So I think we can survive. Maybe walk around the lake a little bit, see what else we can see. Look who decided to finally show up. Right here, we've got our Toblerone Paramount Mountain, the Matterhorn, decided to reveal itself after two and a half hours of us waiting in the cold. We're gonna head back to the lake because we are so excited to finally see this reflection. It's a pretty nice lunch spot. We found ourselves here and we've got it all to ourselves with the glacier to our backs. It's actually not that far of a trek from the lake. We're gonna be enjoying our early lunch before we head up back to the railway to see Gornergrat. I think it's gonna be pretty busy up there. So 
the train's not coming for another 15 or so minutes. So right beside the train station, there's this crazy big lookout. We can see both of the lakes and the Matterhorn. And one thing we've noticed is how crazy busy it's gone. Like I said, the numbers quite literally 10 x since this morning. This is actually insane how busy it is. Can you just see the crowds? That's just the people who got off on our train. Minus all the people that were already up here. This is actually insane how busy it is. And it's October. Doesn't matter. Matterhorn is here. It looks amazing. At Gornegrad Station, there's a hotel called 3100, which you can see behind me. And on the main floor, there's a lot of shopping that you can do. And on the second floor, there are two restaurants. There's a self-serve restaurant, a really large one where you can sit indoors or outdoors. And there's also a smaller sit-down restaurant, which seems really quiet. So if you wanted to eat up here instead of bringing a lunch like we did, that's a really great idea. Up here at Gornagrat, there are a few hiking trails, really short ones that we're gonna do before heading back down. Of course, most people who come to Gornagrat come for the Matterhorn, but you cannot miss the Gorner Glacier right over here on the eastern side. I think the nickname is called Majesticus. That's a really cool name. And you can see it extends from there all the way around. Most people will book a round trip ticket from Cermat to Gornagrat. But we are going to do something a little bit different. And actually quite a few people do this. What you can do is take a one-way trip up to Gornagrat and then you can hike down to Riffelberg, which I believe is the third station right in the middle. And the reason for that is on the entire hike down, you get beautiful views of the glacier as well as the Matterhorn. And then you can take the train from Riffelberg down to Zermatt. And best part of all, you actually save a little bit of money. This is exactly why we wanted to hike down. Completely unobstructed views, 360 degrees around us, and the hike is actually super easy going. You can also see Rippel Sea right behind us. And just like that, we are back at Rippel Sea. We're probably about 70% of the way down to Riffelberg where we're going to catch the train back down. Honestly, the trail is super simple. Yes, there are a lot of different directions you can go, but there are signs everywhere indicating which direction to go in, as well as there's markers on different rocks that are red and white that will tell you if you're going the right way. After two hours of downhill hiking, we finally made it to Rieferberg. We're gonna be waiting for a train. I think it's gonna come in a few minutes here. And this concludes our time at Galnagrat. We're gonna be exploring Zermatt, which I'm really excited for. It's gonna be a little bit easier on the feet. And hopefully we get to show you guys a little bit more of the Swiss town. After taking a much needed hot shower to relax our bodies, we are back out to explore the town of Zermatt. We're gonna be ending our evening at this really cool viewpoint where you can see the Matterhorn and the town. And it's only about a 20 minute walk from where we are. We got a little bit lazy on our 20 minute walk. We saw these loungers right by the creek with the perfect view of the Matterhorn. So we just had to come lie down here for a little bit.